The sword of Hyrule Midas! This is the smallest thing that I have to do a spear right now. <laughs> oh, well, my nice fox man, so they get nine fox. I guess technically I could just have Connor's tomahawk. But, um, yeah, that'll work. But, uh, basically, I wanted to talk about Assassin's Creed Odyssey, because there are a lot of, um, I don't think I brought this, I, hopefully I didn't make a video about this, I don't think I did. But basically, there is a lot of talk, I don't know, I'm sure how much of it is now, but in the beginning of what Assassin's Creed Odyssey was mentioned, there's multiple choices, and you can choose your own gender and stuff. People kind of got angry, to say the least. Even, like, um... My, my, and even, like, some people saying, like, well, what... Especially since Cassandra apparently is the most... Is the canon character. Like, why on earth is Alexius even there if Cassandra is the main character? And stuff like that. Um, I kind of... And also, again, a whole bit of free will to the point where we can choose our own adventure, basically, in something that's supposed to be history where the events shouldn't be able to change. Like, how is the main character... Aya, Leia, I can't remember her name. The main character, how is she able to do things that Alexius and or Cassandra never actually did? And stuff like that. Um, and watch, and like going through that, I kind of, especially since I've actually um, read the books, and I'm actually, well, I'm currently reading it. Um, the, uh, I don't need to go there. Um, the, la the books, uh, The Last... Last Descendants, which are Assassin's Creed YA novels. Before you roll your eyes on them, they are kind of fun, even though there's surprisingly not that much killing in a, in a book series that's based off of Assassin's Creed, where basically if a guard looked at you funny, you stabbed him in the back. But I digress. Um... In that, you do get, inside those books, you actually do get some notes on how that how movement and or free will works within the animals. I'm first going to cover that, then I'm going to cover Alexius. Because there are two things that, the two problems. One being the whole free will debate. Alexius, um, not Alexius, sorry. Um, a lot of you were saying that, well, you can't change the past because whatever, because... So having free will or whatnot inside of Assassin's Creed makes no goddamn sense. Sorry, back, but um, I actually had a decent little bit. But um, last descendants, basically in the book, um, free will isn't actually something you can do because uh, these books are canon with Assassin's Creed lore and series. Basically, um, in a, in Assassin's Creed, when you're in the simulation, you cannot change the past. You cannot. It by even trying to do, it, even saying the wrong word in a simulation of the past will desynchronize you and you will be kicked out of the thing and knocked into the loading screen which is apparently called the memory corridor that is the main thing from the the series of, of a canon book series that even saying a word that's wrong or trying to take control of your ancestor completely will desynchronize you from the from the uh simulation although many people are taking into account the bit that apparently I forgot what her name is. The, the new main character's animus is apparently different and could possibly change the past. Let's just push that aside for a second and merely focus on this. To the point where, um... To the point where Ubisoft might have overcomplicated the whole reason why there is multiple choice in this game. Because I at least see it always as this. It's not so much that we are playing as Aya... Is her name Aya? Leia, I can't remember her name. I, I'm going to say Aya. We're not playing as Aya playing Cassandra or Aya playing as Alexius. We are playing as Cassandra or we are playing as Alexius doing all these things, going to fight this, choosing to go up this thing to attack them, and so on and so forth. We are the character. Not so much that Aya is controlling Cassandra and making her do things that she didn't do in her life, but more along the lines of we are that ancestor and Aya is merely watching us as we live our lives in ancient Greece or whatnot and we play out what we want to do. That is at least how I kind of see it as that. Like the reason why Altea doesn't go and grab all those flags because Altea didn't do that. He, or the version of Altea that you are didn't do that. They just went and did all the missions, killed all the guys and bada bing bada boom, done. Even though there are the whole thing with synchronization rates, but at that point, with Origins and everything, that's kind of just 
flung out the window. But um, but yeah, that's at least how I take it. It's not so much that I uh, that we are Aya controlling Alexia or we are Aya controlling Cassandra, but that we are Cassandra or we are Alexius doing all these things in our quote unquote life and all these things that Aya is just watching us do. That is how I kind of always took. That's how I take that. That is how I see, uh, is, even though, like, maybe Usopp is saying, like, oh, yeah, but because of the simulation stuff like that, then they're overthinking it and they're idiots. They can simply just say that you are these characters you are playing, and it's no different from playing as Cole McGrath, Delson Rowe, Alex Mercer. Well, you know, Alex Mercer really didn't have a karma system, really. But it's no difference from playing those games where there is multiple endings, kind of, uh, for a uh, second son um, infamous I think they're like actually dramatically different endings for both of them especially um two I know two definitely is a dramatic different ending but um it's not it's nothing it's nothing different from those games where you are Cole McGrath and you are choosing whether to be the good guy or the bad guy it doesn't really matter what history says or what the ending result is it is you who's controlling them and that's how I see it as a creed and that's just my two cents on that my other sense on that is that um, is the reason why there's Alexis and Cassandra, which even then this is another thing that people say like, why doesn't Cassandra get her own game? And mind you, I'm on the camp of I'm going to play as Cassandra, and on to the point to where I, when I or, when I um, pre-ordered my video when I pre-ordered the game, I had, I had to go back like a couple like a week later because I found out there was multiple different statues that my version comes with. And I'm like. I'm getting Cassandra, right? And they're like, oh, yeah, 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 you're getting Cassandra. Alexis is just like a pre-order for Ubisoft on their channel. Like, okay, good, because I wanted Cassandra. Cassandra was the one I wanted, and that's the one I'm getting. Um, but people are saying, like, well, why didn't Cassandra get her own game? Why didn't Alexis get her own game? Though I will say that the advertising for Assassin's Creed Odyssey, just like Syndicate, is very stupid in the regard where it's like it does not does not does not um feature alexius and cassandra at all or does not feature cassandra almost at all because i don't know i want to say sexism if and i only say that to the point to where because evie i did not even know that evie was a part of syndicate until i played the game and i'm like who the fudge is this and I only say that because I'm not saying the character, the people at Ubisoft are sexist or whatnot, but I will say that it does seem odd that, like, I didn't even know that there was another character other than Jacob in Assassin's Creed uh, Syndicate. And it, it, even in Unity, um, Arno's girl, Arno's love interest has more screen, has, you know, appears in the trailers more than Evie does or Cassandra does in the trailer for Odyssey and um and uh Syndicate. But again, digress. Um really the I really think the whole point of this is kind of pulling towards the whole idea of 300 cuz even the beginning opening teaser trailer for Assassin's Creed Odyssey is a guy is uh, Alexis doing the 300 kick. And knocking a dude off of a mountain. And like we were saying, like, I just want to buy this game just for the kick. Which, from a role-playing role playing standpoint, choosing your character, fine. This is no longer a linear story. This is a story where you can choose to be either Alexius or Cassandra. You can choose whether to do either side. And... Uh, uh, although that may make some people angry that... Because Honor doesn't get her own solid game. I think it's fine because if the series started out like this, no one would have a problem with it. The only problem, the only reason why there is a problem with this is because it didn't start out with um, having like outside you be as Altair or Aleria. Aladia. <laughs> um, or something like that. Like, that's really the only reason. All the like that I think some of it's, like, that that it's just, like, kind of eh. And also because, like, you know, if someone wants to, play, like, replay, wants to, like, do, like, oh, I want my 300 video game. 
this would be a cool fix for that. Where, like, yeah, I get the, they get to play as their big, strong guy that they want to play as who can kick people in the holes. Great. I'm going to play as Cassandra because Cassandra looks awesome. And I want to get the Spear of Leonidas. I want to get that freaking prop. Um, I want to get the Spear. If I can get the actual Spear, that'd be cool. <laughs> but, um... But yeah, like that's just my thought process on that. It really is just like, you know, if you want to play as a guy, you play as a guy. And like, you know, if you want to re make your, oh, I'm Leonidas 300, yeah! you can play as Alexius. If you want to play as Cassandra, who is the canonically main character when book-wise, then you play as her. Either way, it's fine, I think. Um, the real big issue is merely just that there are no more it's just that you you do this a similar thing that like some people got angry about is bioshock infinite spoilers go see that but basically the ending really doesn't differ that much from certain things that you do um in the game it really doesn't differ all that much but the only reason why that was really made a big deal was because the last couple games had a multi had Multiple enemies that change, that were dramatically different, kinda. So that really is the only differences between. That's like really the only thing. Like if Assassin's Creed started out with multiple choice characters, it'd be fine. But if this game, so if Bioshock didn't start off with having multiple endings, then the ending of that one, even though amazing and awesome, wouldn't have made certain people angry. But again, I digress. I like. Um, I like the idea that they're coming with. I'm gonna play as Cassandra because she looks awesome and I want to play it. But um, and I can't wait for this house to Odyssey. But tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching. The videos that I've done. Links are on my Facebook around there somewhere. Tell me what you guys think. Um, tell me if there's anything you miss or why you kind of just dislike the whole idea of Alexis and Cassandra and stuff like that. I don't know, or a whole multiple choice thing, but I don't know. But tell me what you guys think. Thanks for watching. The videos that I've done. Links are on my Facebook group around there somewhere. And we will. See you later. Tomahawk!